long. Brian, I'm sitting over here checking to see if we've got anything new over here. Okay, so this tornado warning is in effect for Central Point, Set County until 3.45 p.m. Uh, the area that we're watching will be uh, just coming up on Highway 63 here, still waiting on a new uh, velocity radar scan. Uh, still not much showing up with uh, velocity scope. And sometimes we have to wait for that uh, velocity to swing back around and update. But as of right now, the, uh, the area of rotation that we're watching is just to probably 10 miles south of Judd Hill, just a few miles west of Mark Tree. We're still not getting a good velocity product. No, we're not. Tell you what, I want to look at another product that we have uh -huh. here. This is called Shear Vision. Now, uh, sometimes on Shear Vision, we could have this uh, just. Um, uh, just a little bit of time behind, and if you notice, that area south of Weona, which we were looking at just now, was showing some moderate rotation there. What you see there, mm -hmm. uh, look at the legend there, the brighter shade of red. Uh, that would be the area that we're watching, and that is heading to the northeast. Notice that latest update kind of has it a little weaker, but Judd Hill, Mark Tree, those are the areas that are concerned. I can actually, uh, let me read you the warning from the National Weather Service on this uh, tornado warning. This is a tornado warning. Uh, in effect, uh, for Poinsett County until 345, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicating the possible tornado nine miles southeast of Harrisburg when they issued this. Now, uh, if you notice, um, we're still seeing that little notch uh, through there, uh, getting a new scan coming through. Now, I believe what we're, yeah, what we're watching is just Let's the area uh, to the west here of Mark Tree to the southwest of there. Is that right, where we have our velocity scope? Yeah, let me uh, see if we can get a, a new scan loaded in here. There we go. There's the All latest right. scan, and it shows that possible okay. rotation just south of Judd Hill. Okay, so that's right on 63 at this point in time. Yes. Right on 63. So, folks, uh, if you're listening on the radio, if you're watching uh, at home on TV, if you live along Highway 63, uh, you want to take your necessary safety precautions at this point in time. Uh, uh, we are dealing with a, a fair bit of circulation there, nothing confirmed on the ground. Our storm tracker is still in Craighead County. Uh, but we are heading, uh, our storm tracker is heading southeast into this storm, uh, which is not something anyone should attempt to do because this is a fairly strong situation, a fairly strong area of rotation. Now, uh, what we're looking at this is from the MIPIS radar site. And uh, the areas around there will be the radar. This is the rain that's falling. And the area right inside this circle here, that's our velocity. That shows you where the wind is moving within this storm. Now, you see the very bright shade of green right in south central. Uh, Poinsett County, that's wind blowing toward the radar site in Memphis. And then you have your reds right just to the northwest, probably five miles northwest of Marchery on Highway 63. Uh, that wind is blowing away. And every time we see that kind of kink up right there along 63, uh, that indicates a very weak uh, rotation, as you can actually see that area that we're watching right here. And uh, if this uh, remains in effect until 345, it could very well push off to the northeast. Uh, we'll be approaching Lepanto and Rivervale uh, within the next uh, 30 minutes. So, again, the central points that county, you're under the gun. Uh, we do have that tornado warning in effect until 345. Again, that's our velocity scope. Uh, taking that off there, you can see a fairly strong line of thunderstorms st stretching from southeastern Craighead County all the way through central points that all the way through Cross and uh, Crittenden County. But as of right now, the most severe area that we're mm -hmm. tracking is this tornado warning mm -hmm. in effect for Central Point Set County until 345 again. So you can clearly see what we're tracking here, this little kink, this little notch where this wind is kicking up and then bringing in some southeastern air uh, right in front of it. So that's the area that we're watching. If we can bring up velocity, velocity scope here just uh, for a second, let me switch over my products here. Here we are. You can clearly see that we're still tracking that area of rotation. Now, uh, folks, out of this tornado warning box, you're not completely uh, in the clear right now. You know there's a very strong line of wind now east of Rivervale, now east of Carraway, coming up on Etowah. A very strong line of wind ahead of this pretty strong thunderstorm, and now approaching Highway 75 in Crittenden and Cross County. Uh, now, but we're still paying attention to this area just to the southeast of Judd Hill. Now I would place this uh, area of rotation just east of there, north of uh, northwest of Martry. I'm thinking that the latest radar update, the latest radar update, will place that rotation in the upcoming uh, uh, area. So uh, again. Tornado warning in effect until 3:45. Any new details, Ryan? Now I'm going to put storm track on the leading edge of this, and this is going to take it into Judd Hill in the next six minutes, which, as you said, uh, is pretty much there already. Truman in the next 14 minutes, Lepanto 16 minutes. If this uh, still holds together, Rivervale in the next um, 
Uh, this will be in Rivervale in the next 19 minutes. Now, I'm going to kind of lower the uh, or kind of shrink the path down a little bit on there because that rotation is uh, kind of narrowed down just uh, by the Mark Tree area. So that kind of gives you an idea. Care away in the next half hour or so if this continues. Now, the tornado warning, as I said, they kind of made it uh, small. The reason they did that more than likely is because of the, uh, that this is not going to last that long. Say again, somebody's in my ear. Okay, uh, Trevor Gramblin and uh, Allison Munn are out in the Woodford Storm Tracker right now. Can you guys hear me? Okay, I don't guess we have them right now. Uh, uh, nonetheless, this is the area that we're watching. Once again, I want to take a look at uh, the vol uh, velocity within this uh, storm. Guys, if you guys get them, uh, just uh, feel free to chime in and uh, tell me when we have them back on. The area that we're watching is still right through here. Uh, this is the area that we're watching. It kind of formed down uh, around Weona and then moved northeastward. Now, if we continue to see, this is weaker than what it was showing a while ago. Uh, so we may not have, uh, we, this may be falling apart. Let's hope so. Uh, we'll get a new radar scan coming in just a little bit, but uh, this was heading off to the northeast, formed just down to the southwest. Uh, still need Truman to be in your tornado safe spot, Mark Tree, even Lepanto, even though you're officially not in the warning. If this continues, this is going to continue moving to the northeast at around 30 miles per hour. And as it does, Etowah will be in the path, uh, and eventually I think Manila it would probably be a little bit to your east. Uh, once again, tornado warning. For if you're just now joining us, is in effect for Poinsett County, the eastern parts of uh, Poinsett County, until 345 uh, for uh, just a little spin-up tornado that is going to be right on the leading edge of this line of storms. Uh, notice we're getting a new scan come through on uh, radar. You know, Brian, we still have that notch right mm -hmm. through here, so it looks like this may have shifted a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, there we go. There it is. Yeah, still yeah, see still it. seeing possible rotation right there. This is going to be coming between mm -hmm. Lepanto and Truman. Now, uh, if there is something there, chances are there are going to be some spotters that are going to be watching this and seeing this. Um, see if the weather service is going to continue this because this is officially outside mm -hmm. of the warning now. Well, they continue the warning, uh, but they haven't extended the box at this point in time. Uh, still tracking. Uh, Tell you what, let's not wait on them to extend yeah. that watch. Chances are they're going to extend it, and it'll look something like that right there. Uh, if you're inside this box right here, let's just go ahead and take your tornado mm -hmm. precautions now, meaning getting uh, to the lowest level of your home, get as many walls between you and the outside that you possibly can, uh, because we're still concerned about this area right here. Uh, so Etowah, uh, Highway 77, even Manila, uh, as far north as Manila. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make sure that mm -hmm. we're indoors and that, we're, uh, that we've got as many walls between us and the outside mm -hmm. as we possibly can. Uh, let's see if we can get the uh, storm tracker now. Alice and mine, Trevor Gremlin have been out in the storm tracker uh, tracking the storms. And Guys, can you hear me? Hey, yeah, Ryan, I can hear you. Uh, where are you guys located right now? We're actually driving down 63 toward Truman. Okay. Now, it looks like the rotation, guys, you guys are going to get into some heavy rain. The rotation has crossed over 63 now. Are you guys going to kind of come in on the back side, maybe uh, through Lepanto, and take a look at it? Uh, we've all, yeah, we're seeing some heavy rain right now already. I'm not sure which way Trevor's going to have us heading. Uh, okay. He's trying to check up on some things right now. Okay. But, I'll tell you, um, based on what we are seeing here, guys, the rotation has moved past 60, uh, 63. Be real careful coming through there. Um, and then uh, past Truman, you may be able to get to Lepanto, go through some heavy rain, uh, yeah. and then you should be able to get south of that storm so you can get a visual on what is happening. Uh, yeah. So, okay.